Right, Peter. Uh, what do you call these? St. Thomas Bone Holding. St. Thomas Bone Holding? Yeah. Forceps? Yeah. Right. And you're going to make some more? Yeah. But you haven't got the die for that piece That's to correct. produce that them. Joint, yeah. So what you've just done before we got here is you've got a piece of steel bar, which is this, yeah. and you've forged it, excuse me, to shape with that yeah. and ground it up a little bit yes. to exactly what you want it to be. Correct, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So now you're going to knock that. Have you hardened that? Yes. It's hardened up. Yes. Is this stainless or carbon it's steel? Stainless. Hardened stainless. Yeah. Right. And you're going to knock that into a, yeah. a boss you've already got. Yeah. Now, just turn it over, will you? So we can see, this is a... It's an old boss that will never get used again. Ah, this is, yeah. It's got to be stamped. Right, so all this is what it's been used for before, and now nothing to do with us. That's right. And because you're that mean, and don't buy any more steel, you turn it over and yeah. use the other side. Yeah. And that's what you're going to do now. That's what I'm going to do. Right. How many, how many bosses could you have in use at one time, at a maximum? Could you use all ten? I could use all what, yeah, but it's never necessary. No, no. So effectively, you've got ten different sorts of bosses, and the anvil face itself for doing the work on it. Yeah. This, this Don't thing. use that, that, that. That's the main part of it. All oh, right. I yeah. can keep that cleaned up, see? Ah. Uh, flat. Uh, Just grind it. You don't need a big surface, sort of thing. No. Right? What it's doing here is the undersurface is actually uh, marrying to the base of the... Yeah, uh, of, of, of the, yeah uh, Bobby, obviously gate. they're not all dead straight, these bottom of these gates. No. So, you have to make sure it's... But how do you know you're going to put it in the same way It's comfortable. Well, I will do, won't I? <laughs> and don't forget we're on film. Don't use any rude words. <laughs> Fenestrated. Well, there's, there's all through that one there. I don't know why that is. What's the hole for? Hey, Chuck. I went for a bloody camera about a month or so ago. I just. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. Have some noise at fire without you talking. I can probably stop at shots at fire then. Right. This selection of bosses here are for making bows. Right. Obviously for that business. Yeah. These are part of a barrel clamp. Right. Not like the end of it, And you'd start off with uh, 
that. Obviously, that to be one solid block. All right. Drop that in to get that shape. I see. Then you open that, to punch that hole in, open it up, and then finish it off in that. I see. It sizes it up. Yeah. Right. So all these are different sizes, aren't they? Yeah. So you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25 different sizes there, just to yeah. bows. These are what we used to call devils, obviously, with arms. Yes. Oh, I see. For, pull, for pulling that round to get proper shape, or pulling anything, you know, just pulling a, a, an angle on things. Yes. I've known they've called those a, a, a devil for more than 50 years and you are the first one to tell me about the horns and I think it's marvellous. <laughs> and I didn't think you knew all that much. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, you said he doesn't. <clears throat> Wonderful. Ken knows more about tools, obviously, than I do. I only know about these forging tools. I think that's wonderful. I studied it, I just forged and used it. You've got an active mind. Yeah, that way. That's opposite for what I've just, just shown you. Sure. That drops into there. Sure, what? Yes. Absolutely amazing. Everyone different. And before they can produce these uh, forceps, they have to make their own bosses first. And they don't get paid for making the boss, do you? Really? No, no, no. Don't get paid for that. Yeah, there's one more item, and that's, a, that's this sort of thing here. So I'm not sure. Yeah. That. Do it again. I think you call those top and bottom tools. Yeah. Um, Into angle. And these have actually two dies in them, don't they? That yeah, can they be changed. Top and bottom tool is for. of the shoes and all. The work goes between the two when it's red hot. And uh, as it hammers down on this top piece here, it's to get, to get it that down. nicked into there. Oh yes. Put it in there and do that. I see. That gives you that that little step. On that there. step, right? Yeah. And it's equal both sides. Yeah. And that's the trick of it to get it equal both that's sides. Keep, keep it centralised. Yes. Mm. Oh Peter, I must thank you very much indeed. Um, I know you think it's uh, every day to you, but to the rest of the world, it's something, it's another world that no one knows about. No. And uh, I'm afraid that after you go, as far as uh, the UK is concerned, that will be another industry done, another trade finish. Another trade finish, isn't it? Yeah. Which is, I think, very sad. But, but that's the way the world has gone. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, I can.